first of all, happy belated birthday. Thank you so much. That's really cute. I guess we can still say that, right? <laughs> I think so. Why not, man? Birthday month vibes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so how was it? I saw a picture of you on Instagram. Like, I loved your outfit. Like, Oh, do you like it? My, my Ronald McDonald outfit? Yes, I loved it. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. I loved that. It, 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 was an old, um, it was an old McDonald's maintenance man's outfit from the 1970s. So it was pretty cool. Amazing. So you had a great time. Oh, it, got, it got pretty rowdy. We went to a really posh restaurant. So mm -hmm. I like fucking with people. You know what I mean? Because everyone's like dressed up all snooty. So I was like, I'm going to wear a McDonald's outfit. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? Fuck it. Yeah, that's really cool. Great. So you're right now in Amsterdam, right? I am in Amsterdam today. Yeah, I was in LA yesterday. Now I'm in Amsterdam. Yesterday in LA. Wow, amazing. Pretty wild. Good, yeah. good yeah. fun now. How is it feeling, like touring the world? Um. Amazing. I, I love it. Honestly, I, I just, I get, I get to tour the world with my best friends, play rock and roll music. I ain't complaining. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That's really cool. I can imagine. So tonight you're having a show in Amsterdam? No, I got, um, I got a sign in and then I got a video shoot and then wow. we're, we're off to Paris, London, then to Japan. Oh, really cool. Really cool. I know. I can't wait. It's going to be, it's going to be mental. Amazing. <laughs> okay. So let's talk about your new album, your third album, which is coming up soon. Yes. Um, I want to, I want to know where did the idea came from to announce the album in a tattoo studio? I loved it. Um, I just remember like this album really came out of a lot of pain and a lot of, you know what I mean? I, I kind of was really grappling with who I wanted to be. And I think as the world, as, as Youngblood got bigger and the world had more opinions on me and whatever Youngblood meant, I kind of wanted to, in that moment, I didn't really think about it. I was like, right, what does Youngblood mean to me right now? What does it mean to me? And in my head, and I was like, I wrote something down. Mm -hmm. Never compromise, and like literally right here. Never compromise. Imperfection is perfection. Embrace the strange. Wow. Never judge. Tell the truth. Pink socks be a move. And it was literally just about like me putting something on my body, feeling that pain, remembering that pain, and just look getting up every morning, looking in the mirror, and reminding myself what it's here for reminding myself why this community is so special and beautiful and and and, and what it what it stands for man it, it was important to me it's so it's really amazing i love it so is there like a deeper background story regarding the tattoo you want to share with us um I, it was literally just like done by my mate emily malice who's an amazing tattoo artist from london and We just literally just rolled a camera and filmed it and live streamed it while I got a tap. It was cool. On my ribs. <laughs> hey? Did it hurt? Yeah, it did actually. People said it's like what the ribs or the palms or the bottom of your feet, apparently the most painful. But yeah, it was all right. It was cool. She looked after me. She helped me out. <laughs> cool. That's really cool. So um, how long did it take you to write the new album? Wow. I mean, I wrote like three albums before the album was the album. You know what I mean? I think like I needed to set on something that was individual enough and special enough to kind of be an album, be worth it. Because I write so much. I write a lot of songs. But I only put the songs out where I believe myself the most, where I'm fully telling the truth, you know what I mean? I, I never want to lie to anyone. It's never been about, you know what I mean? It's never been about what song's going to do the best, you know what I mean? It's always been about like what means the most and what's truthful in, in this moment. And I, uh, I remember the morning the funeral came out. It's just got this spirit to it. It's got this sound. It's got this 
driving yeah. <laughs> thing to it that just made me want to get out of bed. I think I was, I, I battled a lot with sadness and a lot with the idea of death and a lot with internal struggle on this album. And I needed, I needed that in there. I needed this melancholy, happy, sad thing that was going on within the records, like within Tissues and then I Cry Too, within within mad, within sex, not violence, within the funeral. You know what I mean? I wanted to talk about my, my, my soul. You know what I mean? I think this album's got so much of that spirit in it. It's got a spirit to it. That's what I think it's like. The difference between this album and the rest of them, I think this is the most pure album. Mm. And it's got a purity to it. It's got like this, I don't know, this spirit that's kind of, flying out of it. I don't know how to describe it. It's it's free. It's it's that yeah. You know what I mean? Cool. So this is like really intimate. You would say this album is the album where you're being your honest true self, like sharing it with the world. All of your emotions. Yeah, I think I think I've always been honest and and true about myself. But I think the difference with this is it's like The first two albums, the first album was about finding a community. The first album was like, I feel completely isolated in this world. And it came as a wave of a generation crashed. And we all stood up and went, you know what? Fuck this. I don't want to be boxed in in terms of my gender, my sexuality, race. I don't, I don't, I don't want to be held back. I don't, I want to talk. I've got a voice. All these ideas within a generation exploded and the 21st century liability was a big representative of that, I believe, you know? And then, and then weird was this larger than life explosion of expression and an homage to the individual and the outsider. Mm -hmm. and, and all those two albums were about were solidifying and obtaining a community of people with an idea that represents freedom and energy and self-love and self-expression and love for another person. And through that, I feel like I could talk about myself. And I think the thing about it is it's like the reason why I connect to Youngwood so much because I, it, it gave me a voice. And I think the reason why a lot of people connect with two is because it also gave them a voice. And that's what's beautiful. And I'm really excited about this album because I got I get to tell a lot of secrets and I get to let out a lot of pain and security of mine. And I'm excited, man. Yeah, I can imagine. It's so cool. Did you did you know in the beginning that you will touch so many people that this family, this young book family will, will get out of all this? Like, I had no idea how big it would go. I think I kind of, you dream about it. You dream about playing big shows, but you never know how it's going to pan out. Yeah, You never know the songs you're going to write and you're never going to, the thing about it is it wasn't just me. It was, they took it. And they ran with it. Yeah. And they, I always say, when he comes to your young but show, don't watch me. <laughs> watch them. That's where the magic is, the way that everyone communicates with each other, the way that everyone's there, just kind of screaming so loud like they've never spoke before. Yeah. And then he's like, holy fuck, I can use this thing. Wow. You know what I mean? That's what's so cool. Yeah, it's so important, right, to create the space like that. And you're talking a lot of, like, individualism and mental health awareness. like so Yeah, fully. Topics, like, I feel like you have a, yeah, like, so such a big role for the young people, like, to make them think about mental health awareness. And, yeah, I guess it's a really important role, don't you think? I think... Um... I think it's a reflection of them. Again, I think it's a reflection of a generation. Mm. 
I think it's what we're all thinking. It's what we're all saying. And the songs represent that idea. Songs represent those people, the people that I've met. And I think the songs represent truth. I think that's, I think that's why a lot of people either love me or fucking hate me or love the community or hate it because I'm, I'm very much myself. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's, you know what I mean? I think the community kind of, make, kind of makes you ask that question. Who are you? If people don't know yet or don't want to know yet, it's very easy for them to pick holes in it or call it fake or call it lame or call it not real because they don't want to see themselves. Mm. They don't want to look at themselves. They're not ready yet. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And I guess you touch so many people and you help so many people out there. Like it's... It's really cool. It's amazing. They help me as well. It's, it, it's, it's beautiful. They help each other. That's why I love it. It's like, yeah. everyone's like, why do, they, do you reckon they camp out? Oh, nice. We kind of got that reputation for all over the world. People camp out for days before the show. Yeah. I think it's to get there early to meet each other. Yeah. I always say Youngblood doesn't leave town tonight when mm -hmm. the bus leaves. You are young blood. I want them to meet five mates in the line and be able to hang out and, I don't know, go to a bar or get coffee or do whatever with mm. people like them. Yes. I want people to have friends. I want people to I love it when people are loved for who they are. It's so cool to me. I think it's... I love seeing people genuinely happy. Mm. It's my favorite thing in the world. Cool. So I was asking myself, um, was it different for you to write this album? Did you feel like any kind of pressure? Because like, I feel like this is, I'm so popular right now and this one has to be better, bigger. Was it different? Always. You always feel pressure. You just don't want to let the people down who listen to your music. You know what I mean? That's why I go a different way every time. Yeah. Because the thing about The thing about it is the feelings of the first two records are always there. They're always going to be there. I don't want to, I'm not going to write 21st century liability again. Even if that pisses some people off. <laughs> I'm not going to write weird again, even if that pisses some people off because it's in the world. Weird is in the world. 21st century is in the world. Yeah. If I'm going to write the same songs again, I'm lying to you. I'm not telling you the truth, but that's why I wrote Youngblood the way I wrote it, because, again, every time I step up to a microphone, I release what comes out. Mm. There's no, like, I'm going to do this. There's no kind of formula. It's just, like, whatever happens. Yeah. You know what I mean? Whatever comes out, whatever, whatever energy is released. Yeah. So would you say that tissues is, like, representing the main young blood message like everybody wants to feel loved and still yeah, that's it. everybody wants to be a dog and everyone deserves to be and like it's i love that song i think i just i just love the feeling of it it, it just bleeds to fit. just like the funeral don't feel like feeling sad tissues boy in a black dress sex not violence i cry too it's just bleeds this like <gasps> this feeling that you want to obtain yeah it's so sad as well it's like I listening to a lot of the smiths and a lot of the cure and a lot of joy division new wave was like where i was where i was at writing this album yeah that's really cool i loved it too um yeah i can't wait for the world to wear tissues actually I think that one's going to be a big one off this album. I think people are going to Whoa. It's an amazing song. It really is. Yeah. That's I why that. I felt like this is like the message. Um, yeah. It's, 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 it, I think the funeral and tissues are the songs that represent this album. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? If you're going to kind of stamp the album and the feeling, it's those two. Mm -hmm. So you had like the chance to just place a truck into a city and 
all out of nothing. You like had a big crowd and you had the amazing music video for I don't feel like feeling being sad today. I mean, how did that happen? How did that was completely happen? illegal. <laughs> you know what I mean? That was just no, that's no fucking joke. That you know what I mean? That there's no smoke and mirrors there. It was literally a group of mates. The, there's literally video like me fucking friend is going round around roundabout holding gear on the ampl uh, on the fucking truck pulling it into London. The police were like, "Young bloods here again," <laughs> and just like they gave me like three three takes because I just think like it would have been more of a. The thing about it is we always do that. It's going to be more of a fucking problem for him to like disperse it. We may as well like let it, because we're all, all peaceful. It's not like a riot. It's like we're all, all like there for love, man. So we just did three takes, fucked yeah. off, and that was the video. Yeah, that's so cool. The more, you, the more you kind of, it's better like, it's more kind of like ask forgiveness, not permission. <laughs> So did they forgive you then? <laughs> um, I don't quite know yet. You should call the police, ask them. <laughs> I love the idea. It's really cool. <laughs> I was just like, when it came about, it was like, uh, it was a last minute decision to put the, this, the song out, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, in that order, it was going to come out of the album, but I was like, I love putting like little, because obviously Funeral's a big, one of the big singles and Tissue's going to be the, the, the one before the album, the next one before the album. And it's nice to put these little songs out in between, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and uh, and uh, I just was like, what can we do that no one else can? Yeah. And, and that was it. And you made it. <laughs> That's cool. So... When I was listening to I Cry Too, I felt like I was thinking about, I have a shirt with a print, like it's okay not to be okay. And that's what I needed to think about when I was listening to it. Is that yeah. what you want to say with the song? Yeah, I wanted to, it was about a friend of mine. It was about, it was about masculinity really, but a, a universal idea to everyone. That you got to talk about your feelings. My friend is very masculine and, Mm -hmm. He found it really hard to express himself and he was getting drunk a lot. He split with his partner. He couldn't kind of get out of bed. And I was like, bro, you got to gotta talk about this with me. He couldn't. And then I was like, and I literally was like, it's all right, mate. I cried too. And I was like, oh, God, well, I got to remember that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, and I took that with me. And, and uh, I just, yeah, I love that sentiment. Yeah. It's all right, mate. I cry too. Yeah, it's cool because it feels like, you know, to say also men are allowed to cry and to to Yeah, that was that was it. I think like kind of there's a massive stigma in the world, especially with males, that you can't express your emotion. Mm. And uh with, with humans really, it's it's terrifying to show who you really are because if you extend a hand someone can slap it away you might look foolish but my mission is to kind of redefine the idea that if you're extending the hand and someone slaps it away you're not foolish the person who slaps it is foolish yeah they seem ignorant they seem inhumane that's yeah. not that's not that's not the way forward in my opinion so you're um, you're saying a lot that like people who feel like they don't belong anywhere, they feel alone, they struggle. Like this is welcome home. You said that in the video. I love that. Yeah. And um, I think the song "Cruel Kids" a little bit is about that too, isn't it? Like. Yeah, it is. I think I think the idea of people misunderstanding you is so easy for people to hate you because they don't understand you. Yeah. People only hate because they're confused. Again, I'll say it again. People only judge you because they're confused, they're terrified of it, of something they don't understand. And I want this album to be that for, for young people. I want it to, I want them to feel it. I want them to go, yeah, I'm gonna be all right, man. 
It's so cool. <laughs> so yeah. when will be back in Germany for all your fans here? Oh, don't worry. There, is, there might be a, a tour announcement coming soon, but I don't know. Wow. <laughs> Big, biggest venues we've ever played. It's pretty, un, it's pretty, pretty unfathomable, to be honest. Cool. <laughs> so everyone can be exciting. Yeah, right. man, it's going to be crazy. Cool. So is there a message like you want to spread to your fans, to the family, to the crowd in Germany, Austria and Switzerland? Yeah, I think, I think initially, thank you for being here. Thank you for looking after each other. Thank you for spreading so much love. And I just hope you love this album. I hope, I hope you feel that spirit. I hope you get it instantly. I hope if you don't get it instantly, give it a couple of tries. I promise you, you will, because I put my heart into this and I hope you love it. That's really cool. Thank you so, so much. Thank you, Kim. Honestly, that was really cool. Thank you. I liked it. Fives, man. Where are you in Germany right now? Uh, I'm near Cologne. Oh, cool, man. Vibes. Yeah. So you have to come to the next show. Away. <laughs> you'll, have to, you'll have to come to the next show yeah once you announced it I will be there <laughs> rock and roller